Well, hello there, everyone. Hope you are all doing well wherever you are viewing from. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you all what I am packing out for my Camino trip. Again, this is for the Camino Frances, about a 500 mile hike across Spain. I am starting in St. Jean, Pied de Port, and going to Santiago de Compostela and hopefully Finisterra, depending on time. Uh, but this is all I have packed. There is one pair of pants and a shirt, not here, that I will be wearing um, to the airport. But everything you see here that will be going into the pack, minus the shoes and hat um, and my wallet stuff, my pack itself weighs about 14 and a half pounds. And so here's a breakdown of what I'm bringing. Over here, I have my raincoat. It's all nicely folded up. That can just stuff into the bottom of my pack. And my pack itself, I got this nice Osprey, uh, the Stratos 24. I upgraded from a $50 glacier pack that I got on Amazon years ago. This one feels way better. Inside the pack so far, um, what I do have is a fleece blanket. It's already stuffed in there really good, so I didn't want to take that out. And I have uh, my sandals. Um, really like these sandals. They're called uh, Tevas. These are great. I tried these and the Chacos and the Tevas definitely felt way, way better. Um, also, I'm bringing one of these hooks to hang my bag or anything else. So that's what I have in the pack so far. As far as clothes go, um, I am bringing four different pairs of underwear. Uh, just your standard un Under Armour stuff. Seems to do pretty good for exercise and um, all that sort of stuff and I have one pair of shorts and two pairs of hiking pants. The one pair not pictured here is what I'll be wearing on the airplane and I was going back and forth between doing two pairs of shorts and one pair of hiking pants. I decided to go with the two pairs of pants um, just because I'll be there in the summer and we'll need some protection from the sun while I'm hiking in the Meseta. As far as shirts go, I have these two Under Armour shirts that are short sleeve. I also have a long sleeve uh, shirt as well. I have four pairs of socks. They're all pretty nice and comfortable. There's a range of different socks here. Um, these ones are just your standard under Armour. I have two pairs of these socks that are really nice. Uh, they're called Belegas. Really like these socks. Um, and then this one I just got at REI. Um, they're called Darn Tough. It's another good pair of socks. So four pairs of socks. I have my Hoka's, those are the Speed Goats, um, the highest rated version that I saw on their website. They're really awesome. Um, I've always been an Asics shoe kind of person. And when I transitioned to wearing the Hoka's, as I broke them in, the first 20-ish miles were kind of a bit rough. I wasn't sure what to think about them. Um, but as they broke in, they're really awesome. And I have slightly wider feet, so those are good. That'll be my hat and sunglasses, so I can look like Indiana Jones and shade myself from the sun as much as possible. Um, let me get this nice and steady. Sorry, tinkering with the tripod here so I can point things out. Got my wallet and passport, my money belt, 
It's always good to have while walking around. Um, little Camino sentimental thing. Uh, this is the guidebook I'm going with. I uh, did some research, and there's some different ones. I know this isn't probably the most popular guidebook. This one's pretty good. And since COVID and inflation and everything, I wanted a more up-to-date guidebook because a lot of information out there uh, is already out of date if you're looking at things before COVID. So this one's pretty good. As you can see up here, some of the toilet trees I'm bringing, uh, just some bags that are waterproof will keep things in. I have a bar of soap. There, I have a pair of tweezers because I'm Italian. Don't want to do the Camino with the unibrow. I got some sunscreen, travel toothpaste, fold-up toothbrush. That soap is for washing clothes. I'm going to be hand-washing clothes a lot of times, um, whether it be in a sink or wherever. That's how a lot of people do this on the Camino. And then you hang dry them. Of course, I have shampoo for what little hair I have left. Um, got my deodorant. Right here, let me grab this. This is for blisters. I can cut any shape I need out of these um, and put them on my feet, my heels, my toes, uh, however I might need. Up here, this is um, premium wool. I'm trying to think how best to describe it. It's for blister prevention. You put them in your socks. Um, anywhere that you might get blisters to help prevent that or aid my feet after I get on a long hike. Aquaphor is really awesome for any sort of uh, chafing or blister type stuff in this hike goo stuff. Um, I'll say I'll, I've been kind of testing them both. I do like Aquaphor a little bit more, um, but I'll be using this on the feet and it does pretty good so blisters are a very important part of the Camino uh, or preventing blisters I should say so just want to be prepared for that um, here is another uh, chafe preventative measure I'm taking it's a anti-chafe balm uh, right next to it I have some hand sanitizer um, some toilet paper because you never know. Um, there aren't bathrooms um, or porta potties interspersed on the Camino um, last I checked. So it, sometimes you'll be walking for 10 plus miles, and the only place with bathrooms is at your albergue or at a bar or restaurant that serves breakfast and lunch. So just in case of emergency, I have that. This little bag here is for a lightweight, um, just a liner blanket. Um, I, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, I have the fleece blanket as well. But a lot of people I talked to said um, a lot of the albergues are pretty warm and this should be fine if I need to wear uh, one of my pairs of hiking pants or socks, something like that, or an extra, extra layer, I can always do that too. I obviously have uh, that key lock over there um, in case there's any storage compartments I need to put stuff in. I have my phone charger. And then here, this is your general uh, European adapter. Plug that in. It's nice. It's got two plugs there, um, your USB-C charger, which uh, does work with my phone, and three USB ports as well. So, yeah, this is all the stuff I have that's going to be going into my pack. Um, I already tested it out. I had to go down from four pairs of pants and four shirts to three. Um, and I even cut the one laundry bar of soap in half to cut down on some weight. Um, was able to cut a pound down just by doing that. 
Um, I've read that most people try to hike um, or do the Camino with somewhere around 10% of their body weight. Uh, so with this being under 15 pounds, um, not including the water bottle, of course, and that'll be a lot, um, you know, that's, that's definitely under 10% of my body weight, uh, cause I'm like 230, 240. So, and what's nice is a lot of these things that I showed you over here, um, as I go further into the Camino, you know, the bars of soap and all these other things, uh, the weight and all the, um, hygienic products will get, uh, a lot less over time as well. So yeah, that's my packing list for the Camino. That's all I'm bringing with me. Um, hopefully it will get me through my 500 mile journey. So thanks for joining. My next video updates will be, uh, when I land in Paris and get ready to start my hike. So I hope you are all doing well and that you are able to take some time today to take care of yourself in some sort of healthy way. Love y'all. Take care. Buen Camino.